This is Jack, a one-year-old African penguin. He's 18 inches tall, weighs in at just five pounds, and he is about to embark on an adventure of a lifetime. Jack is the newest member of the San Diego Zoo's Dan and Vi McKinney Penguin Habitat, home to a colony of over 30 African penguins. Like any group, there are multiple personalities at play at any given time, which can make day-to-day -day living a minefield to navigate. And as a newcomer to the colony, Jack needs to figure out the rules of etiquette and establish his position in the group as soon as possible. Because that position will determine where he sleeps, when he eats, and who he can partner up with. Come with us as we witness this dynamic colony through Jack's eyes. From fights to seduction, and the loyal to the not so loyal. We'll meet the characters that helped shape Jack's experiences. Welcome to Penguin Beach. It's morning time. The sun is up and the residents of San Diego Zoo are getting ready for their first feed of the day. But over at the African penguin habitat, there is one little resident who has more than food on his mind. It's Jack's first day out in the colony and he is trying his utmost to blend in. It appears he's taking the wallflower approach, actively avoiding others whilst gathering intel and making observations. A wise move. Even his keepers think so. So as a juvenile, you know, he's still trying to figure out his place in the colony and uh, everyone's kind of has their own territory and he hasn't quite figured out where his is yet. Jack's a, a little bit of a, a misfit. He's unusual because he spends a lot of time by himself. He doesn't really interact with the other birds. So who is who in the Penguin Zoo? While there are over 30 individuals in this colony, we're going to focus our attention on some of the more let's say, influential couples and singles in the group. Let's start with the colony's father figures. Meet Rocco and Hoover, the most senior couple here in the penguin habitat and the first same-sex male pair bond in the colony. These two are inseparable and leading the way when it comes to loyalty and affection. I love Rocco and Hoover because they're just completely devoted to each other. Which is quite the opposite to on-again, off-again couple McKinney and Courtney. These two have been together for six months now. Let's just say McKinney has been known to have a bit of a wandering eye. And two-year-old Laurie has caught his attention on multiple occasions. But she doesn't seem to mind. Laurie is no stranger to affection from male penguins. <laughs> I, want, I want to describe Laurie as that, that girl in high school that gets into trouble because she can't say no. She's not a floozy. Anybody with a beak? Just today I saw Laurie uh, sneaking around with McKinney and, and she'll cozy on up and give him a little preen behind the neck and try and get some attention back from him. On the other hand, one penguin who seems oblivious to the boys is two-year-old Gail. All Gail seems to care about is food. She's the first in line during feeding time and won't think twice about robbing another penguin of their meal. Next up, we have eight-year-old Harlan. He's pair bonded with 22-year-old DG. Quite an age gap for the pair. And initially, this couple seemed quite strong. But lately, Harlan has been giving off signs that he's not all that satisfied in his current relationship. A female has caught Harlan's eye. Um, unfortunate for DG, however. Lastly, we have Austin and Elizabeth, one of the tightest twosomes in the colony. While these two are young, it was love at first sight for them. And rumour has it they're trying for a chick. It would appear that there are some strong personalities in this colony. If you're struggling to keep up, imagine how Jack must be feeling. Isolated and intimidated, Jack continues to avoid confrontation but he can't live on the outskirts forever. Keeper Laura has arrived with a bucket of fresh fish. It's mealtime, and in this colony, that's quite a social event. 
All of the penguins gather from near and far, and Jack has no choice but to immerse himself into the action. With this many mouths to feed, it can be quite difficult to ensure that each penguin has been supplied with a sufficient amount of fish. I like to keep track of about how many fish each bird eats. Uh, we've got Herring and Capelin here, and they all kind of have their preference, uh, but sometimes they can be pretty picky. Nope. <laughs> and others aren't fussy at all. Step aside, penguins. Gail is here, and she's famished. Gail has quite the appetite. Girls never said no to fish before, ever. Jack seems to be somewhat impressed with Gail's consumption habits. So he puts his social anxiety to one side and decides to participate in the breakfast gathering to get a little closer to her. Attempt failed. Gail didn't notice anything other than the fish and Jack was knocked down a few pegs by cannon. Time to rethink Operation Approach Gale. Perhaps a more direct approach is needed. Oh, she's leaving. Maybe a quick bite will make her notice. Nope. Maybe one more? Hmm, it appears our young Jack has a lot to learn when it comes to the art of seduction. So Jack has been trying to uh, impress another female in our colony here, Gail. Um, but we're not quite sure why she hasn't reciprocated the behavior. Maybe he needs a little more practice. Meanwhile, at the other end of the habitat, Laurie, our young single female, is the master of seduction. She has successfully pulled McKinney away from his pair bond, Courtney, and things are heating up. Courtney, however, seems none the wiser. But there's more to this love triangle than meets the eye. Coming up next week on Penguin Beach, Will Laurie continue to spend time with McKinney, or does she have someone else in her sights? How will Courtney react to McKinney's disloyalty? Rocco and Hoover are on the lookout for some prime real estate. Will they find the perfect waterfront location? And will Harlan pluck up the courage to leave DG to pursue a new love interest? Or will he choose to stay with DG? All that and more next week on Penguin Beach.